Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail and I'm going to do a flip through of my latest sewing journal. Uh, I did a craft with me for this one, but a lot of it I didn't do with you. But I, I thought I would do a flip through for you today. This is the book from 1929 that I got for, um, decided to use for the sewing journal. And when I did it, uh, sewed it together, I put the buttons, um, on the spine and I did do a video showing how to do that. So let's get started. Inside the cover, I'm, this book belongs to, and then this is the original first picture or page of the book that was opposite of this. So I left that there. And this is the original um, book for um, you know, the first page of the book, and then we've got the copyright date, 1929, on this side. So I've got just some regular papers, and this is a needle book and that's vintage, and I put some paper in there so that I could use it to journal on, and then I made a journal card using buttons and lace, and this is from uh, G's Bend, um, stamps from a while ago and I put the top that was off of something that I bought craft wise a long time ago. So that's one of those and I used papers from the um, patterns, pattern descriptions and things and any of the old book pages or these pages I did put washi tape in the middle. You can see it maybe a little bit right in here. Uh, so that I could, um, uh, it would be stronger and it wouldn't rip out because they were a little bit older paper, not as, as maybe a little flimsy. All right. And then I have this that I made. This is a pocket that opens up. There's a, a magnet in here. And then I have some paper in here that you can write on to that. Probably one. Okay. And then I just have some different cards. Uh, journaling cards. This is a little like needle packet that you could journal on. Just a cute little thing. All right. We have some other pages. This talks about um, an, uh, old time quilts and pillows and making things. I uh, have this that you can write on and a journal card in one of my mass make pockets that I followed Shell Radcliffe on the Rambling Crafter watching her and did that and Shabby Dabby Doodah did that also. This is one of the original book pages. Some of these are colored because they, they in, in the directions part, it tells the little girl who has the book that that's what the colors are. And when she does her sewing, her embroidery, that's what she's supposed to use. Okay, first signature middle. I just put a, a little charm on there. Okay, some ledger paper. Um, I took a big doily and I folded it so I could have a pocket on both sides. So this, this here is a journal card and these, this is a journal card and this is just a little envelope that had extra buttons. This person said pink and white checked pantsuit. That was what the buttons were in there. They weren't in there anymore when I got them that I know of. Okay, and then so when you turn the page, we have some journaling cards that fit into there. Um, this was one I made in one of my uh, videos, but I made the journaling card and then I made a little pocket for it to go in. And this comes out and it's 
got paper inside so you can journal in it. And it fits right in there so you can see their nice little logo with the elephant in the crown. I just love that one. Okay. I got some journal cards and another extra uh, button cards. This one's for embroidered white cotton blouse. You can put paper in there or hide things in there. And this is the end of the first signature. Here's the directions. Ask your mother or someone to iron the pattern from your transfer on the article you are going to embroider. Be careful not to pull your floss too tightly or to tangle it. And then it talks about the colored pictures and things. And I'm sure back in 1929 it was a little girl who did it because not too many boys sewed. Um, I used this embroidery piece and put a journal card that I made in there. Use pattern piece on there and things like that. Uh, here's a fabric flip. So you can lift it up and write underneath. And then I also put in some of these types of things. These are, this was for Rick Rack Modern and Old seam binding and another brand of Rick Rack. And you can open this up and journal it on, on it like a little journaling card. And I made a little pocket with a doily, a miniature doily. Got some more papers. Uh, just made a little tuck spot. I have one of these Singer So Handy sewing machines. It's for a little kid. It's a toy one, but it really sews. And I've got one, so I had to put that one in there. All right, this is a seam binding uh, container or packaging that I just turned into a little pocket and I put a little journal card in here. The little girl sewing. I'm so sure you're the one for me, a valentine, an old vintage valentine. And I just folded it so it could go in there. Feather ticks and quilts. There's another pocket. I made this one with, a, with pages from uh, a quilt book and then made this um, journal card and this little journal card. This one talks about standard rotary shuttle and so I put a little gear on there. Okay, lots of room for journaling. Got a couple of dangles in the middle of the second signature. Used an old snap fastener for a tuck spot and then made some journal cards for in there. Plays with scissors, that's me. Okay. Got a couple more pages here. And this one, yeah, it's a pocket that's in there, but it's also, I have a, one of my slow stitch um, paper clip, uh, a alter paper clips. This opens up and you can write in it. But I put that on there to hold it shut so you might not know that there was a secret writing place in there. Okay. A few more things here from the book. This is a little pocket I made in my mask making. Uh, and some journal cards to go in there. the book. This is the end of the second signature. The little girl who had this book colored some of the ones that were blank. And they're so sweet. All right. All journaling space, journaling space. And uh, this is a needle book that I made into a tuck spot. And I put in here a piece from the quilt book with uh, Aunt Jane of Kentucky um, how much peace in a quilt is like living a life. Many a time I've sat and listened to Parson 
page preaching about predestination and free will. And I've said to myself, if I could just get up there in the pulpit with one of my quilts, I could make life a heap plainer than Parsons making it with those big words. And it, it goes on. And I remember reading this when I very, very first started quilting, like back in 1980. And I just love that, that thing. So I put that in here. And you can write on the back. Okay, uh, here is another one of my altered paper clips with slow stitching and beads on. I just put a little uh, journal card there. And on this side, I have another little journal card. This is a little uh, flip or extra little pocket thing that I made to that I sewed right in there um, in the signature. So I got some fabric and a card on there. And then here... I made uh, a journal card that fits right in here. And I have sometimes a girl's just got to sew. Okay, here's another of my pockets with a journal card that I made. This one I kind of had fun. I had one, uh, a ring thing that you could put a tag, you could pin it on. And I put some stuff on it, an old um, sewing top from a... Uh, one of my spools of thread, and then uh, my sister-in-law made these, uh, Mary Lou made these little flowers for me, and I've got those on a number of things throughout the book. All right. A few more pages to write on. It's the middle of the third, and I have a little branch with a squirrel on because when I was sewing that on. I was telling a squirrel story. Um, there. This I made out of a page from the quilt book and I made this. I did show it on one of my previous videos. Um, this is part from a Kleenex box that you open it up. You rip this up to open it up. And I put paper on and then decorated it. Here's the other half of that uh, little envelope thing. So I made a little take to put in there. And then I just decorated the back. This was an old bag that I had from way long ago. So I just kind of put a little flip closure on it and I put some paper in there that you could write on. Nope. There we go. It's a little wrinkled but I still thought it was cool. And here is the back of, I don't know, it had it had um, the button things that you'd make covered buttons with, so it gave you the sizes that you would cut your pattern. And I just used it for a tuck spot. Have a little bit of paper and a journal card for in there. And this is, I actually bought ribbon on this, and uh, I made a tuck spot. I have Kovex Fabric Center. This is an original receipt from 1974 that can be written on. And then I had this little thing from Elastic. So I made like a little, a little area to put paper in. Oops, that you could write on it. And that just slides in there. Oops. Maybe from this side better. I think I'll do it later. <laughs> I'm almost at the end. Okay, and I have a little snap uh, fastener tuck on the back page. Just one little thing in there. You can put a lot of different things in there. And then that's the end, and there's the book. I thought about um, putting page or corner protectors on and then I decided no it's kind of a beat up book it's old 
Um, I'm just going to leave the corners the way they are because it's part of the the fun of the book <laughs> to have have it in the original very well loved shape that it was in. So that's a sewing journal. Um, and I'm glad you were with me. I hope you'll subscribe and visit my Etsy shop too. And um, thank you for being with me. This is Carol from Friendly Quail. Bye!